Hello, I invited very important person today who is a former politician, former broadcaster, and a political commentator, Mr. John Tamere. Hello. Hello, John. Nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, I know that you announced an uh, intention uh, to start for Auckland mayor last uh, January. January, yep. Mm. All goes well? Going well. Mm -hmm. mm. All politicians, um, it's an uh, arm wrestle. Mm. <laughs> and, um, but it's going well. I, I, we had to announce early. Mm. And I had to uh, get my partner, uh, Christine Fletcher, from yeah. National Party. Mm. Uh, she was a cabinet minister of the National Party. I was a cabinet minister of the Labour Party. And we have to come together mm. to solve all of um, Auckland's issues. Okay. Mm. Mm. I think you are very busy nowadays. Yeah, very busy. Mm. Uh, well, I run our own businesses as well. Um, mm. And so unlike national politics, um, the opposition is paid. Mm. Um, in local body politics, um, you've still got to um, earn money in, out of your businesses and mm. then mm. carry the campaign. Mm. So it's busy. You are very, very well known to mainstream society, especially yeah. Maori society. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, for ethnic society, uh, please uh, uh, yeah. tell me yourself first. Oh, well, um, ethnic society, um, I grew up in a New Zealand mm. that was um, monocultural. Yeah. So it was really just all, um, uh, the saying those days was uh, British is best. British is best. Yeah. And so it didn't matter whether you were, what, what ethnic you were, um, mm. it was the British way or the highway. You know, they had no respect for or um, uh, acknowledgement of um, Māori, let alone other ethnics. Mm. So that's changed dramatically in my time. And, mm. I, and, and, and we're a lot better for it. We're a far, far more colourful city. Mm. Mm. Okay, you were an MP yeah. from 1999 yeah. to 2005. Yeah. 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 Well, I... Um, what you try and do uh, is shift out of your communities and your businesses sometimes to make a difference, a bigger mm. difference. Mm. So I tried that for six years. Uh, didn't work out too well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, all, all winning politicians are a politician waiting to lose. Yeah, you know? yeah. and so um, so, you, so um, I went out to the communities and um, we've developed a lot of houses, um, IT company and all the rest of it. And so we're doing very well on the street mm. uh, and lifting. Uh, performance of uh, poorer families. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and uh, you were a, a government minister from uh, 2002 to, mm. to 2004. Yeah, I was uh, minister of lands, mm. um, minister of small businesses. Mm. New Zealand, 89% um, of all businesses are five or less full-time employees. 89%. Mm. 89%. percent. 97 percent are under 50 full-time employees. Mm. What that tells you is that in that last three percent, government is big, local government is big. Mm. If that's true, you've got to make it more efficient, more business-like. Mm. I know that you had a very difficult time from 2004, 2005. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah but, but you know what? I, um, I'm shaped by... Um, uh, issues that will uh, always test mm. the integrity and the character of mm. somebody. Um, but I've, al I, I've, uh, um, I've always, I, I'm one of 12 children. I, I come from a Māori father, mixed blood Pākehā mother. Mm. When my mother, white woman, married brown father, she was disowned by her white family. So <clears throat> we, we've had issues from the time of birth mm. <laughs> that we have to uh, work our way through. So nothing, um, we all learn, I think, better from uh, mistakes than successes, um, uh, and you're far better for them. So I, I've um, never had an easy uh, run at things. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, you are specially interested in Maori uh, policy or agriculture? Oh, policy? I'm, no, I'm deeply interested in um, lifting the performance of uh, lower socioeconomic class and vulnerable communities, mm. because otherwise um, we pay a lot more taxes to look after a problem. Rather than fixing the problem, we manage the problem. Mm. 
And so I'm very big on um, ensuring that we uh, lift the performance of vulnerable communities so they don't cost so much jail, legal, um, criminality, dropping those numbers is important. Mm. And you are an Auckland mayor, mayoral? Candidate. Candidate. Yeah. Mayoral candidate. And uh, you have some big blueprints for Auckland City. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. And uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> you want to sell 49% of water care. Yes. What's the reason for that? Well, it's a nine, in New Zealand terms, not in Korean terms, mm. but in New Zealand terms, um, Water Care is a huge company, nine, yeah. nine billion dollar balance mm. sheet. Uh, it does not pay a dividend mm. to the citizens, okay? Yeah. Uh, its job is to, but it still charges citizens for water. Mm. So um, my view is, is that I've got uh, four billion, five billion tied up, then I could deploy that money better Mm. Uh, by investing in fixing up failing infrastructure, mm. uh, cleaning up our beaches, mm. uh, and um, a number of our roads to cover off our network so we stop congestion or lower it. Um, see, Goff can only go with more rates, more tax. Yeah. Because uh, you've got to be more clever and use all the tools mm. across the whole of the city. Uh, and we can't continue to tax and rate um, citizens in Auckland mm. uh, at the rate he is doing it. We're 265% we're um, debt. So we've, we've, our credit card is three times over its limit. So Goff's got nowhere to go but to tax. Mm. I, I can't have that. I've got to look at different tools to uh, take the burden off um, the rate payer and that's better use of asset. Mm. So releasing that uh, $4.5 billion dollars uh, and getting uh, um, private uh, directors around the table mm. to make the company more uh, uh, commercially rigorous is very important. Mm. You need not worry about the water rate. <laughs> no, well, it's smooth. You see, um, if if uh, um, you've got to smooth the rate, mm. so people over time can can digest it. If if you're just going to rate uh, like eleven and a half cents mm. uh, for petrol. That, that's unacceptable. Mm. Uh, Auckland, Goff signed off on that. Auckland is the only city that is penalised with that tax. Well, that tax immediately knocks on cost through the whole city. Mm. Must. Mm. Mm. You want to sell off the uh, uh, port of Auckland? The business of the port, not the land. Oh, yeah. Not, okay. not land. No, no. Land's, well, land's very important mm. to all, all, all cultures. Yeah. And, um, so there's 77 hectares down at mm. the port. You wouldn't know it because you're locked out of it. Mm. Uh, it can be used a lot better. The return on investment there is shocking. Um, the company borrowed $36 million last year to pay its dividend. It's asking for another 150 off the parent. Mm. But it's got, no, um, it's got no accountability back to the city. Mm. Like Watercare, it's a council-controlled organisation. 75% of the business of the city is run by outliers, uh, who are not accountable to the citizen. Mm. No, 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 we've got to take control back. Um, part of that mm. is to shake it up. That's my tagline. Mm. Mm. Okay, can we talk about the uh, development plan for the uh, Chamberlain Park golf course? Yes, we can. Mm. Not happening. No, you, no. You don't want to uh, develop the... Uh, no, no, it stays 18 plan. holes. Mm. Mm. You, the day you cut a golf course up, is the day you start to destroy mm. uh, the golfing right and culture on it. Mm. Right? Um, the biggest sport played in Auckland today is not rugby, it's, it's not soccer, mm. it's not cricket, it's golf. Mm. That's a working man's golf course. I come from a working man's area and it's staying 18 holes mm. from Mayor. Mm. Mm. Why they uh, developed the uh, park? Well, um, because they're not thinking uh, right. Um, the park is on one side of a motorway. Mm. Uh, that motorway can be uh, bridged over. Uh, that golf course is mm. part of um, Western Springs yeah. uh, Park. Yeah. It's part of the Auckland Zoo. Mm. And it's part of Motat, mm. um, going all the way over to Miola Road um, and down to Point Shed. Mm. Mm. So you've got to look at... You've got to look at the green space as uh, the future lungs and kidneys of Auckland. 
and it must be safeguarded for our children and grandchildren. Mm. Mm. You cut it up, you can't get it back. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, one of the issues uh, related with you is sale of 18-storey CAB. Yes, look, I was on uh, the finance, <coughs> excuse me, I was on the finance and performance committee of Auckland City Council for five years. Mm. So I know my way around the, the business. Um, I agreed to the sale of that in 2016 mm. on that committee. I know that uh, that agreement has been breached in several ways because uh, it was supposed to have been developed now, 2019. Uh, the developer has got a sweetheart deal there. Um, it's 5,500 square metres of mm. CBD land. Mm. Uh, on, on a bad day, that's $12,000 a square metre mm. if you buy it. Uh, 4,400 square metres on the corner of Albert Street and uh, Victoria Street is on the market right now, 4,400, 1,000 square metres less mm. for $83 million. Mm. They're going to sell this for $3 million, plus he's, he's allowed to put a 100 a bed um, hotel on it, plus retail and everything else. No, no, that there's something uh, awfully wrong with that deal, and that's why I've uh, referred it to the Serious Fraud Office. Mm. Okay, one of the biggest um, issues in Auckland City is a transportation system, I think. Yes, correct. Yeah. And uh, there is a, uh, an opinion that uh, reduced the speed limit to 30 kilometres per hour. Mm. What do you think about that? Well, of course I oppose that. Mm. I, I don't... <clears throat> you intuitively think that lowering speed stops mm. deaths and accidents, right? Mm. So that... On, on one level, that is true. But if you drop <clears throat> 30 kilometres on some of the arterial routes coming off the motorways, mm. you will congest back into the network. Yeah. Uh, Southern motorway, northwestern motorway, North Shore. That is tailor but, but if you look at it, this is tailor-made to frustrate mm. the, um, the citizen and get them out of cars. That might be good if there was enough park and rides, mm. if there was enough public transport if it was consistent, uh, priced right. Mm. Uh, all of these things have to be put together before you make war on the motorist. I invite you to go to my website, jtformayor.co.nz. Mm. There's a video there of um, the senior Auckland planner uh, in a conference in Singapore saying, uh, we're going to frustrate the drivers. We're going to take it four lanes to two lanes. We're going to drop speed limits. Mm. We're going to change the phasing of lights. Um, when we go on consultation, uh, we don't care because they don't know what they're talking about. And you, you, can, you cannot have bureaucrats control the citizens like that. Mm -hmm. It's just not unacceptable. And so uh, I, I, I didn't say that. You go onto the website and have a look at... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, because you need independent... You know what politicians are like, mm -hmm. blame one another. <laughs> but go and have a look at the evidence. Mm. Yeah. I hate to drive in uh, Queen Street in Auckland. Yes, but, it's, but, but you see, it's engineered. Mm. Key Street's worse, down the bottom. Yeah. Um, it's engineered to frustrate mm. you. And then hopefully you'll get on a nice bicycle and bike for 20 miles around town. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's nonsense. It's a nonsense. Mm. Um, what we've got to do is sequence um, out of cars rather mm. than uh, revolutionise out of cars. Mm. Uh, in Queen Street or Albert Street... E-scooter is the best way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. E scooter <laughs> <laughs> Well, even that is a nightmare. There's no regulation around that. In the mm. United States, you have to have a, a license, be 18, have a helmet, um, and be sober. Mm. <laughs> so uh, those Lime scooters, uh, mm. they are a menace in the way in which uh, they've been rolled out. Mm. And here's the other thing, the money goes to San Francisco. Mm. They don't pay ACC here. We pay ACC and all the accidents. So um, somebody's getting money out of that system. Another one. See, uh, Auckland, New Zealanders think that we're corrupt-free society, that we're corrupt-free. That's not mm. true. It's, um, they just haven't been caught. But I've got an integrity unit. I'll hunt them down because that sort of conduct is unacceptable. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, the last question. Uh, after the incident of Christchurch, Mm. Uh, last March, uh, some people are very concerned about the racism in New Zealand. Mm. 
Oh, oh look, I, I, I told you, I, I had to grow up with it myself. My, mm. my poor mother, mm. who, who married my father, uh, was disowned by her people. That's how bad racism was for her mm. mar marrying a Māori, right? Mm. Um, that's come down quite a bit, mm. but there's still a big core in this country. And it's not just about Muslims. Uh, it's about Asians. Mm. It's about people of colour. Mm. It's about people of faith. Mm. You have your own faith. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we, we must uh, re You see, all, you're an Aucklander, I'm an Aucklander, mm. but we're not the same. And nor should we be. You've got your language and your culture, mm. and you should celebrate it, and no one should disrespect that. I have my language and culture. Uh, and my faith, mm. um, that's m as long as I don't uh, trample on your rights, uh, we're all Aucklanders. And so we should all be treated equally. Mm. Uh, and our cultures, our languages, our uh, right to bring our children up within them, uh, sh we don't all have to be English, for goodness sakes. So, um, uh, so I, don't, I, I just won't accept that. And, um, I'll, lose, I'll lose a bunch of white votes, but don't worry about that. The point is, as long as you're truthful, mm. And um, so I, I'm not um, a grey politician. I'll tell you, if you ask me a question, I'll, I've told you the truth. Hmm. Hmm. Might get me into trouble, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think your dream after um, Auckland Mayor, Prime Minister of New Zealand. Oh, yeah, but you don't want to get too giddy. Um, I had a go at that. <laughs> 99 to 2005. Uh, and it was failed miserably, mm. but um, I'm far better for the uh, journey. Mm. Yeah, mm. Um, but let's uh, let's make let's let's pick the city up and champion it for because because when God made it, um, He had a great day as uh, humankind come along and sort of mucked it up a bit. So, but we can fix it mm. because we did it, uh, and so I think um, we're in for a very colourful um, election, and uh, your people must vote. They must vote. They must mm. value their vote. Mm. Yeah. If, if you don't value your vote, um, you're, you're never heard by a politician. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I don't care whether your people vote for Goff or not. They'd be pretty stupid if they did. But, um, but do vote. Mm. Mm. You have a big dream. Oh, I think we live in a, a, a marvellous city. Um, geographically, um, climate... Um, cuisine, uh, access to bountiful foods that taste great. So we've got so much going for us. We just need to get a bit more integrity um, back into the way in which we conduct ourselves, respect one another. Uh, and public servants uh, that have run away with the city, uh, they have to be brought back into control under the citizens. Mm. Mm. If Pretty you good. become uh, an Auckland mayor, mm. you can you make uh, Auckland City the most uh, livable city in the world? Well, um, yeah, my name's not Jesus Christ. I, what I can um, say to you is, is that um, I, I can get the best innovators and initiators in this town mm. and give them licence to dream uh, bigger and better things and to provide tools for them to go out and make that happen. At the moment, uh, the city's in a bit of a lockdown and you can't get... Um, innovative ideas away mm. or sponsored by the city. Mm. So m mayors should sponsor great ideas, mm. uh, great intellect and great investment. Yeah. Yeah, mayors shouldn't pick the winners. Uh, the winners will come out of the communities uh, solely by their capacity and their ability and their innovation. Mm. Mm. And that's all uh, leadership should be about is uh, releasing wonderful energy and um, rather than containing it. Mm. Okay. Why the voters, citizens, Select you. What? Well, well, they select in me. The election. Oh, because uh, I'm going to bring change, uh, and um, I'm going to shake the whole city up, right? Because 75 percent of it's under, out of control. That's mm. in these council-controlled organisations. Water care, Auckland transport, goes on and on and on. And so, uh, if if citizens are happy with the status quo mm. and a failing status quo, well, then they don't need me. But if they want uh, to change the failure and, 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 and uh, get more energy and um, a better advocate who champions Auckland, uh, well, then they can vote for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. No, no thank you.